G'day guys, this is Booze Review, the show where we review the booze. So uh, I just want to say a couple things first up before we actually start the review. Uh, I'm sorry for the lack of, sort of, not the lack of uploads, but kind of the slowing down of uploads these last couple weeks. Uh, personally, I've been very busy with a lot of crazy things happening around in life at the moment. Uh, the most prominent of which is about a week ago, I became a dad for the first time. Uh, so that has been absolutely nuts. Uh, the last week has been a bit of a blur. I have not had time to do anything really, uh, especially when it comes to YouTube content. Like that's had to take a backseat completely really. So yeah, um, yeah, it's going well. I'm pretty tired. <laughs> But um, no, it's going real well, and um, yeah, I'm you know happy to report that uh, I'll be able to do some more beer reviews, and um, hopefully I can upload a bit more content. You know, going back to one or two uploads a week rather than kind of one upload a week, and then it was sort of getting to one and a half weeks every you know every ten days or so. So yeah, but anyway, yeah, so I'm back. I'm I'm back to making more regular content. And the beer that we'll be reviewing today is a request. Someone requested this a couple of days ago. They wanted me to, you know, review it because they were thinking of buying a case of this. And, um, you know, I'm happy to do that, man. I love, I love doing um, requests. So what we have here today is uh, James Squire's Broken Shackles Lager. Comes in a 4.6% ABV in a 345ml bottle. So um, apparently James Squire was Australia's first ever official brewer. Um, the government recognised him, you know, sort of, you know, yeah, first ever brewer in Australia, that's a pretty big deal, in the very early 1800s, I believe. And uh, James Squire has, you know, like pale ales and stuff like that, like 50 Luscious Pale Ale, I think. This is their Broken Shackles Lager, which was released earlier last year, I believe. So it's a relatively new release. But yeah, I've never, well, prior to buying the six-pack of this, I'd never had it before or any other James Squire products. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm eager to, you know, talk about this one. So anyway, let's uh, crack this boy open, shall we? But first, I'm going to get a bottle opener because I forgot it. <laughs> Today, we have the trusty bear bottle opener. <laughs> let's see if it opens bottles, shall we? Ah, get in there. There we are. Does not a bad job, eh? <laughs> anyway, so let's give that a pour into the glass, shall we? There we go. So right off the bat there, you have a moderate amount of carbonation, I'd say. A pretty regular sort of colour, kind of a a golden, dark golden colour, nothing out of the ordinary really. A couple centimetres, about two centimetres of head there. Nothing too, kind of, you know, out of the ordinary. Anyway, so we'll go for the aroma. Hmm. Yeah, you definitely get a, a definite hop aroma there. Maybe they used like galaxy hops or something like that. Or maybe some German, European kind of hops. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely has a nice hop kind of uh, smell to it. Then you get the malts, of course. Hmm. Yeah, it smells really good. So anyway, it is time to give it a taste. Cheers, tears. Hmm. <sighs> really nice. Got a nice balance between the malts and the hops there. Sort of, I'd say, the body is sort of anywhere, probably probably light to maybe medium. You definitely get a nice hop flavour there. Uh, it's kind of like a, a, like a slight fruity uh, hop flavour there, which is quite nice overall. It kind of has like a, a Pacific Ale kind of uh, taste to it, which is rather nice. So yeah, it goes down really well. It's rather clean. It's pretty crisp and refreshing, I must say. So let's go for another gulp, shall we? Ah, yeah, that really hits the spot. 
kind of a hot one today. It's really muggy, <laughs> really humid. Whew. And it's only early too. It's like, what, 11 o'clock or something? Shit. <laughs> yeah, so this is a really, really quite a nice, crisp, refreshing lager. Definitely got a nice flavour to it. Um, yeah, it's something sort of a little bit different from the typical kind of lagers that you get, generally. But it, it goes down rather nice. Um, pretty drinkable, sessionable on a hot day, I'd have to say. So overall, I'm going to give it a final sip and a final score. Cheers, cheers. That's nice. You know I hit the spot when I just finished it. <laughs> so overall, I'd have to give James Squire Broken Shackles an 8.5 out of 10. It's pretty good overall. Got a nice flavour to it. I'd definitely recommend it, whoever suggested this. Yeah, you know, buy that case, mate. It's pretty good. So anyway, guys, if you liked that video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Cheers, cheers.